this journey begins at Glenmore Distillery in Inverness, Scotland, where the original McKinley's rare old Highland malt was distilled well over 100 years ago. The whisky is recognised as one of the classic Highland malts of its day, and so it's no surprise when Ernest Shackleton orders 25 cases to help sustain his British Antarctic expedition of 1907. The commemorative labels on each bottle read the Endurance Expedition, but it is actually aboard the Nimrod that Shackleton's expedition party finally sails for Antarctica, landing at Cape Royds in early 1908. On their Antarctic adventure, the expedition falls short of claiming its big prize, the South Pole. But Shackleton's legendary leadership ensures a safe return for all. And so, after 18 long, hard months, the party sails for home in March 1909, leaving behind three crates of malt buried deep in the ice beneath their expedition hut. A long, long time passes. After almost a century entombed in Antarctic ice, two crates of the whisky are uncovered by the New Zealand Antarctic Heritage Trust. It is a stunning historical discovery, and after careful excavation, one crate is flown to Canterbury Museum in New Zealand for careful thawing in 2010. As the whisky crate is slowly defrosted, the conservation team are delighted to recover 11 bottles, 10 perfectly intact still wrapped in their original protective paper and straw. Now the global spotlight is firmly focused on what these bottles contain, a Highland malt whisky that is described as a gift from heaven for whisky lovers. And so a new quest begins to recreate it in all its long lost glory. And now it's time to go home. Flown back to Scotland on board the private jet of White & Mackay company owner Dr VJ Malia, three bottles are transported to the Invergordon Spirit Laboratory in Scotland. Master blender Richard Patterson and his team carry out a detailed analysis of the spirit, and it is heralded as a spirit of adventure and passion. A fitting tribute to the McKinley family whose skill and dedication produced a whisky of such unique quality. But the rigorous analysis also reveals much more. Analysis of the cast extractives show the spirit was matured in American white oak sherry casks, while additional testing reveals that the peat used for the malting originated in the Orkney Islands. With its full heritage revealed, the team begins the challenge to recreate this precious whisky and its packaging. To complete their puzzle, they marry malts from both Glenmore and Dalmore distilleries, before adding other carefully selected malts from Speyside and beyond, all varying in age from 8 to 30 years. Which brings us here to this meticulous recreation of the original McKinley rare old Highland malt returned from the ice. Every whisky is an adventure, but this one more than most. This is the enduring spirit of another time.